take a look at this. All right. Let me show. Let me. Let me. Let me do this first. This is a, this is a good news story. All right. Look, I usually don't give any credit to people who are within city government because a lot of them are just Democrats. Democrats, Republicans, they're all the same to me. But I have to give some credit where credit is due to the city council of Orange County, uh, the city leaders, as well as Mayor Jerry Demings. I'm going to look. I'm going to give them the credit. All right. Good job. Good job on this one. All right. You got me on this one. So. Well, Hundreds of thousands of students will get free school lunch this upcoming school year. Orange County says every student will be eligible for free breakfast and lunch. Fox 35's Valerie Boy is joining us live tonight. And Val, you spoke with a lot of excited families this evening. Yeah, that's right. You know, both parents and students are just thrilled about free meals in school, especially lunch. Mel so that's what happened. This is good news, man. Kids in Orange County, Florida are all across the board going to get free lunch and breakfast countywide. So Orange County Public Schools, no, regardless of your income, it does not matter. If you have a kid and they're going to school from pre-K all the way to 12th grade, regardless of your income, they get free lunch and they get free breakfast. Good news, right? I have no complaints about this. I have no qualms about this. In fact, I am very happy. And so... As a kid growing up, I wish this program existed. This program just came into effect in July of this year. And so Florida, in Florida, even though it is a red state, Central Florida, particularly Orange County, is kind of like the blue county out of the rest of Florida. So, so goes Orange County, so goes Flagler, Volusia, you know, Miami-Dade, Lake, you know what I'm saying? Osceola. So, it, so goes Orange County, goes other counties because one of the major cities is Orlando. So, you have Orlando, Daytona, Tampa, Jacksonville, Miami, right? And Tallahassee. So, those are pretty much the major cities of Florida. Well, Orlando, where I live, is in Orange County. And so this is for Orange County schools, as well as all the schools in Orlando as well. So if you have a kid, you get, look, I wish that they had this. But the thing is, I had brief breakfast growing up regardless because we were low income growing up. I, we were low income from the time I got into kindergarten at Orange Center Elementary till the time I graduated at Career Academy High School. I had free lunch because we just couldn't afford to have reduced or just pay for lunch, right? Uh, and so this is going to help out so many kids who are kind of in the in-between where your parents make too much to afford free or reduced lunch but they don't make enough to actually really send you with money to school to actually pay for that lunch. There's a lot of parents that can't do that. And then on top of it, there's a lot of parents who they may not make enough to send their kid with money. And so their kids don't have food to eat. And so what do they do? They can't learn. They go to home. They, and they go home hungry. This also helps out parents because if you don't have all that money to spend on food, well, then at least your kid gets at least two meals in the day. They get breakfast and they get lunch. So all anything you have to worry about is dinner and maybe a snack. That's it. So this saves parents money on food too. 
which is why I get to the point where I'm like, why in the world don't we just have food as a human right? We can do it for kids. We can do it for adults. But I can't say that because that's socialist. I'm going to say it anyway. I don't care. Basic food for all. But yeah, this is an amazing thing that's going on. Uh, let me go to the article here just to go over the finer points. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Okay. Let me stop my singing before I start making everybody's ears bleed. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to make your ears bleed. All right, so it says all students at Orange County Public Schools to get free meals starting this year. This is published on July 24th. Can't believe this slipped my mind. This slipped my sights. But I am happy about this. It says Orange County Public Schools announced Monday that they will offer free meals to students in the 23-24 school year. This March the first school year, Orange County Public Schools is implementing the new meal provision. This lunch will be is being offered through the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Community Eligibility Provision Program, or CEP. Quote, we believe every student deserves access to healthy and nutritious meals, regardless of socioeconomic status, the district said on its website, adding that it will implement com community eligibility provision for all students. This applies to all students at all existing OCPS schools for all school meals, including breakfast and lunch. Students will have the opportunity to choose three to five menu items that fall into the main food groups, protein, grain, vegetable, fruit, and milk. If three to five items aren't selected, the student will be charged in an a la carte price. So I, I, I think that they shouldn't be charged at all, but I'll take what I can get. Says Melanie Sato says she likes making homemade lunch for her daughter, but sees how the program will benefit others. So you can opt out by just having your kid not get the lunch, right? Which is fine because you have some parents out there that are, you know, they may have dietary, um, requirements i'm not going to say restrictions but requirements based on religion based on health things like that right so they may not want to allow their kid maybe they maybe you know so they do that for their kid right so of course that is something that a lot of parents you know may opt out of if especially if they can afford it that's fine but the point is the food is available for all kids so they will never be hungry at school which i am absolutely thrilled about so yes uh and things like this can also probably be put on a ballot initiative as well you know in order to help our kids so that they won't go hungry at school and i think this is also deeply important because learning it needs to happen for our kids to be able to retain the information and learn and grow, but you can't do that if you're hungry. So now, uh, just to let you guys know, uh, you know, this was a great story. And, you know, when things like this come up, just please do not, do not fret. Do not allow stories like this to be the only good stories that we see. Let's continue to fight to make new happy stories like this come up you know and yeah so i'm just really proud uh that this happened in my county of all counties so thank you so very much